it's Savannah Oakwin from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm sharing some of my Sab Dories and custom charms that I created using leather and paper smooches dies. Now I've been creating uh, faux Dories, also called Sab Dories, since I got back from Paris. I absolutely love them. I can't get enough of them. Right now I have two different types. I might make another one here soon. <laughs> the first one is my Paris Dory. I created it the day we got back from our trip, no joke. Trav was exhausted and slept for probably 10 hours, but I was super excited to work on making this notebook design that I stayed up for five hours sewing and measuring just to put it together. <laughs> this Paris story was created using some items that I found while in Paris. So the outside is actually a placemat of the metro system and I've stitched little stars that I actually used a paper smooches die for a design just um, as a template and I stitched where we went in the uh, metro system. Okay so anyway it's a placemat and then I have three notebooks inside and these are from the Louvre and then on the outside is a charm. Now you can have a charm on your elastic here or you can have it on the top elastic as well. Um, and this one is a little Eiffel Tower, and this is actually an earring <laughs> that I got uh, when we went for a cruise on the river there. And then this one I bought in America, but I thought it was fitting because um, it says pray, and we were there for the terrorist attacks, and um, all over social media was the saying, pray for Paris. So I thought it would be fitting for this charm set. Okay, so that's my Paris story. This is my second notebook, and it's just a regular fabric sab dory, and I've made over 20 of these, and I probably have 20 more to make. Now, I sell my sab dories with charms and without charms, and I've got a charm up here, and so I wanted to add another one down here that was custom, and that is where this video idea came from. Now, I've shared this technique before, and you can click the link above to check out that video. And to be honest, sometimes a good idea needs to be revisited several times. <laughs> this is probably the fourth time I've used leather for my projects, and I can't get enough of it. I absolutely love this little charm. Today I want to share how to make leather charms for your sad dories. Now the process is really simple, just follow these steps. First you need to get some leather, and you can buy a pack of random leather pieces or buy full sheets from your local craft store. You can also use vinyl for your charms. Any stiff and durable fabric would work. Next you want to grab some paper smooches dies and this will be your charm. Now I absolutely love the sassy letter dies because this is an easy way to customize each sab dory with the recipient's initials. I also love the feather dies which I've used in the previous videos but any die would work. Literally paper smooches has so many dies that you could use any of them for your charm design. So once you have your die, let me get this cleared out of the way, you want to run this through your die cutting machine. Um, I'm using a cuddle bug and so I'm just going to layer my leather with my die and then top, top it with the top plate and run it through my die cutting machine. Now make sure you run it through two times to create a good impression. Okay, so your die cut image will not completely cut through the leather and that's okay. All you have to do is take a pair of small scissors and cut around the image, fussy cutting it out. It's super easy. Now that you have your images cut out, punch a hole using a screw punch or a Japanese punch a paper punch, or a paper piercer. Now make sure your hole isn't too close to the edge of your image because it could wear out and break. Next you want to add your jewelry jump rings and any other charms you want and then attach it to your sav dory using a lobster clasp, which is what I've done for this little S. I've added a little gem right here. I also have one that I've created for Kim. Um, she got a sab dory for Christmas and now I want to add a bit of pizzazz with a couple of charms. <laughs> now I've also created this super fun one um, using the butterfly duet dies. So I've got two leather butterflies, a little 
clear charm and then a lobster clasp and you can just attach that there and I've also attached one to my little pencil purse um, or pencil pouch whatever you want to call it and I have a little feather the word hope and an owl oh my goodness super duper cute oh can you see that I absolutely love that one now I hope that you will create some of your own charms now you know these leather charms could also be used for keychains or on bracelets or on your purse zippers and definitely can be used to spruce up your notebooks or sad dories. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for staying until the very end of the video. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know about a sale that I'm having on my Sav Dories right now. These are the ones that I have in stock. Um, they're all different. They have, uh, some have charms and some don't, like this one has a charm. Um, each of them have two notebooks on the inside and they have a pencil holder or a pen holder as well. If you mention this video when we're conversing back and forth or in your email, I will make sure that I add a couple of fabric uh, paper clips for free and I will possibly add um, a pearl charm to your Sabdori as well. So mention those and head over to my blog for more details or message me below if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching.